Good morning, super cool party people. I'm an idiot. So, <laughs> guess I didn't put my memory card in the camera last night after I edited it. And like the thing is, I've done that a few times, but I'm usually pretty lucky and I have my laptop with me. Today, I definitely don't have my laptop with me. So I guess we're starting the vlog on the phone here. Yay. It is a balmy minus five, minus six right now. It's great. It's so cold. Like normally I'm like, yeah, this is kind of cold. And then like walk from the car to the theater. And this morning I was like, this is really cold. I woke up straight from a dream last night. I can't remember what it was, but it was a good one. I really wanted to go back into it, but what can you do? Anyway, plan for today is to work. It's gonna be a kind of long day again today and then go home and actually be productive because I didn't even make my bed yesterday. I did no editing. I mean, I did edit a video, but it's not the same. So that is the plan and I'll check in with you throughout the day, I guess. I don't know. We'll see, because when I have my phone, I feel like I can vlog more regularly because it's in my pocket, so we'll see what happens. So I've just been working, minding my own business, and I just looked outside, and there is so much snow. What? Like, look at that, and you can see over here that, like, it's still coming down pretty hard. I was definitely not expecting this, like, <laughs> especially because, like I said, I've just been so in my own world, like, all day that I just, I didn't even notice. I finished my audiobook though, which is super exciting. Um, I actually enjoyed that one. It was nonfiction, I think that's why I enjoyed it. It was about hacking uh, this guy named Kevin Mitnick. The book was Ghost in a Wire something, something, something. Ghost in the Wires, I think that's what it was. Um, the only downside I think, and I think this is because it was an audiobook, the thing that bugged me the most was anytime he talked about breaking in somewhere, obviously in the book he would have just like, typed out what he did. <laughs> well, if you're listening to an audiobook, it just says it. So it's super annoying, but overall it's a pretty good read, but I need to keep going. Gotta, actually, it's break time now, so I'm gonna take a break because I'm starving and then keep going and then, I don't know, figure out how to get home later. <laughs> Welcome back to Good Quality. All right, I am home. And that was an adventure in and of itself, which I will get back to in a second. But first things first, we're not going to get burned by this memory card thing again. So I have this, like it's an Ipsy bag, but I have this and I keep it in my backpack at all times. And inside this bag are important things that like, you know, maybe I'll need. Yeah, emptying it. A charging thing, USB obviously the cable as well my earbuds for my phone complete with the um lightning connection the lightning to audio jack converter and then just a regular old pair of headphones the reason this all started was because i needed these headphones because i wanted to edit while i was out and i did not have a pair of headphones with me uh because i usually use these and I find that using Bluetooth to my computer when I'm trying to edit, there's a little bit of a lag and it makes it a little bit hard. So I bought these and they've always had these and then I need it. I got a new phone, so that. And so that's my little emergency pile in case I need anything. But if you remember in the summer when I went out to Blind Channel, I mailed in my vlog to my sister-in-law and she posted them on my channel for me which means that I've got a bunch of these 16 gig SD cards so I'm putting one of those in that bag and then we should never have the problem of not having a memory card again because I'll have a backup one it it very rarely burns me I think it's only happened like twice maybe three times counting today but we're not gonna it's not gonna happen again so now that that's gonna be sorted I mean I gotta put everything back in I'm going to relocate, grab my cauldron of hot chocolate, and I'll tell you the story of my adventure home in the snow because there it's it's like this easily. It's like probably two inches at least by now. Okay, I actually had to divert my quest to get some cream on my face because my face is really tight right now from the weather, but I'm using the Tarte's H2O something rather. Let me get it. This guy right here, it's the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost, and I find that it is saving my face this winter, which I'm really happy about. I mean, I think really any moisturizer 
would help, but I really like this one. Anyway, so you were there when I realized it was snowing, like, and it was snowing hard. So I normally don't wear jeans or anything to work. I normally wear capris because I find that sometimes if I'm running around, I overheat. We talked about this with the whole, like, I've been wearing sweatpants for a week at work. And, um, I also tend to just wear shoes, like runners or whatnot. Um, and that's what I wore to work today. It was a little chilly, but I had my winter jacket and, you know, it said it was gonna snow at like two o'clock. Um, but last time it snowed, it like barely snowed, right? So, bleh. So, I, um, looked down, I'm like, oh crap, it's snowing. I wonder if the buses are gonna be running. Cause initially my plan had been to take the bus and then my mom brought me down to work and she told me to reach out to her boyfriend because he'd probably be getting off at the same time as me, but he has not put winter tires on yet. So where we live up a hill, there's no way he would be able to get up there cause it's like, it's coming down. And so I finally get off work and uh, there's no way of knowing for sure if the bus is running like there's a couple of windows in the theater where I can look out and I can see the bus stop But there's no way to tell for sure. It doesn't look like a bus has been through there recently, but I don't know so I'm like well It's a half an hour from the point that I've got off or like 40 minutes Until the bus is actually supposed to come because kind of small town The bus comes like every hour on a Sunday awesome so I went and I got food because I was hungry and then I trudged over to the bus stop. Now keeping in mind that the snow is now probably like, no it's not like that deep, but it's it's significantly not light and all I have are my runners and so I walk over and I'm slipping and sliding everywhere because like my runners, they don't have the best traction on the best of days, like you know if it rains too hard you're gonna slip with these ones. So. I wrenched my back pretty good. Seems to be okay, but I now I'm remembering I should stretch today at some point because otherwise I think I'm gonna hurt tomorrow. But I make it to the bus stop and there's two other people waiting for the bus. I'm like, all right. So there's two buses I can take to get home. One means I have to walk up a hill. One means I don't have to walk up a hill. But I'm like, you know what? This is the up the hill one, but I don't know that another bus is gonna get, is gonna come. And the bus, the other bus would have to go up a steeper hill, so I'm like, what if it can't go up that hill? So I'm like, all right, so I'll just get on this bus. So I get on the bus, and then I get off the bus and, like, sink into the snow. It is so deep, and then I gotta go up this hill that's probably, like, maybe, like, a 45-degree angle. Like, it is not enjoyable. And so I'm going up, I'm slipping everywhere. Like, even before I got to the hill, I almost completely bailed. And then I finally get home, and I can't feel anything from my knees down. Like everything's numb because I'm so cold and my feet are soaked, my socks are soaked, and my exposed skin is a nice shade of red. And I'm like, oh no, I need to warm up my skin now, like immediately, ASAP, do not pass, go, go get in the shower. So I jump in the shower and I'm like, I still can't feel my legs. Well, I mean, I could start to feel, but like my ankles, super swollen, super red, super numb. So... I got out of the shower, I can, like, they're a little better. I've got, like, <laughs> I have socks, like, knee-high socks on right now. And then I have my fleece pajamas on. And then I have a pair of winter socks over top of that. And then also my slippers. So I think I should be okay. Like, I don't think I got frostbite or anything. There's a thing that's not frostbite. Frost nip, maybe frost nip. But yeah, so that was my adventure in getting home. I'm really glad I don't need to go out tonight at all, I don't think. And I definitely don't work tomorrow, so I don't need to go out then. But just like, oh, snow, why? And it is still coming down. That was a very long story time. Anyway, now that I am home and slightly warmer, I have my Ravenclaw hot chocolate. Um, well, I mean, it's not Ravenclaw hot chocolate, it's a Ravenclaw mug. And um, I think I'm gonna make my bed because I didn't yesterday and I got this situation happening here. It's like at night when I go to bed, I throw the pillows, like the extra pillows I don't use on the couch, but there were like clothes on it. So I'm just like piling things up. So it's getting bad right now, but I think it's just gonna be a chill day, but I also kind of want to get back into editing. I want to finish my story. I'm on chapter 28 is what I just finished, so 29, 30, 31, and an epilogue. Like, that's less than four full chapters. So that's exciting. And then maybe get into the query letter stuff, because I'm like, I'm feeling jazz. The other day I wrote a blog post about it. I'll try to remember to link it down below. 
um, but it was just me finally coming to that, you know, I'm ready for my book to go out into the real world. It was like, a lot of the times, like, even when I was sharing it with people who I wanted to beta read it, it was, like, really stressful for me, but now I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm at peace with this. It can go out into the world. So, that makes me more excited to want to query more. I still haven't heard back anything, in case you're wondering. I don't know if I will mention it if I've heard back anything. Just, like, don't want to get my hopes up. So, anyways, continuing the process. At this point, though, I have not heard anything. That is legit. I'm gonna go now though, because I've been rambling for like seven minutes straight here. I am super unmotivated. My legs, like everything like hips down is so tense and sore right now. I'm like low key trying to stretch it out, but also like, eh. Also like my arm's shaking a bit and I don't know why, like I've suddenly become so weak and like can't hold up my vlog camera. Bed is not made. Nothing is done except I started to write my list. I don't even think I wrote the whole thing. Sorry, I'm just stretching. Everything is tense and sore and I don't know why. Anyways, maybe I'll try to make my bed now so at least I'll feel like I have my life in order because I certainly don't. Okay, so bed is made and I put all my laundry, my dirty laundry away in the hamper um, and I checked my ankles. They're still swollen but they're not red so we're going in the right direction. I don't think we have to worry about it. I'm still so stiff and sore though. My poor body. I should probably drink more water. Put that, let's put that on the list. But I think I'm gonna chill for a bit. I've been chilling since I got home. I think I'm gonna chill for a bit and then hopefully get into editing, but we'll see. I might just like curl up in my bed while I edit, which is a terrible idea, but it's fine. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm at my computer. I just typed up something that I had written on my phone the other day and it was a struggle like I was just straight up copying and I was struggling and I don't know if it's because my body is sore because my brain is broken like I mean on top of today just sucking with the snow and everything I also it was day six of work in a row and that just it just yeah maybe that's why my body hurts so I don't know if editing is a good idea it might be a really terrible idea but I don't know I really want to. I would love to finish editing the book for like the millionth time today, but I, I don't know. But it's a really cool story that I'm working on that will maybe never manifest into anything, but it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> it was on my phone. I've been, I was working out the other day and so I just typed it up on my computer so I could continue on because it's like, it's bigger than phone work, but yeah. See, this is how bad my brain is working, or not good my brain is working. Brain. <laughs> it's like, I can like see the monkey inside my head like trying to type or like the cog spinning. It's a bad situation in there, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try to be productive at seven. At some point I should probably eat dinner, but not too particularly interested at the moment. Ooh, that was bad too. Oh, I'm gonna go. All right, so it's like 20 after nine and I have finally like got like my fifth wind or something. I don't know, I'm feeling more awake. My body is hurting less. I should probably drink more water. Didn't I say I was gonna do that earlier? I haven't drank any water. Let's grab the water bottle right now. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Still a little stiff and sore, but it's not nearly as bad as it has been for the majority of the day. So that's a win. I will take that, got water now just hit myself in the headphone but that's okay and then yeah I'm sitting down now and we're gonna start editing and hopefully it will go quickly there are 13 pages left we can get this done I did it I'm like almost falling asleep but I edited the rest of the chapters I was wrong I thought I was on chapter 28 but I was actually on chapter 27 so there were more words and pages and chapters than I thought there were but I finished it wow this is like Einstein level poof right now. Not the genius though. Um, so that means that I can like cross things off and that's exciting. So that went faster than I thought it was gonna go because I thought it was gonna take me at least two weeks. Current done. Um, but yeah, so that is done. So that is exciting and now I can stop thinking about it. I'm struggling putting the cap on this. And also, I think I want to get into the second book here soon, which is also exciting for me. Um, 
I should get some more query letters off first though. It is chile. Um, I gotta get my slippers on. I should get more query letters off here real soon, but I'm not super concerned about that tonight. We'll get that going in the next couple days. <sighs> but yeah, I got, I did it, I did it, I did it again. I mean, it's like the ninth time, so it shouldn't be exciting, but it is. It feels exciting this time. My hair is still so poofy. Anyway, um, it is 11.30 and I wrote a blog post, so yay me. And I've done everything on my list except for, can you guess it? Anything related to querying. Oh well, it's fine. Tomorrow's a new day, I don't work tomorrow, and I'm done editing book one again. So there's really no excuses. I'll find excuses, believe me, I'll find excuses. But I think right now I'm going to head to sleep, so thank you so much for joining me on today's snowy adventure. If you want to come along on more adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And with that, I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night!